and this is your bartender. <laughs> oh my god, what will it be? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Joro. I will be doing a energy checkup for the week. Now I'm going to bring out the dragon oracle cards. Yes, we need it. We need the strong ones to come through and blast the energy right out of this world, okay? So here we go, the dragons. I have pre-shuffled these cards already. So what's the energies for the week? There's one, two. We've got royal blue and gold dragon, omega dragon, and one more card please. Oh, too many cards. All right, we'll take two. All right. Air Dragon and Thor's Red, Black and Gold Dragon. Okay, the Royal Blue and Gold Dragon strengthens you to stand in your own power with wisdom. Awaken to your own majesty, wear your cloak of power with pride. And then the Omega Dragon harnesses the divine feminine power of creation. Intention, hold your vision, birth the higher consciousness. Air Dragon, help you rise above earthly matters. Communicate honestly, bring inspiration and hope. See life from a higher perspective. And Thor's Red, Black and Gold Dragon protects you in times of change. A time of rapid transition and transformation. Lex and you're safe. Wow, we've got four major dragons here who are coming down and helping us divine feminines go through this crazy time. This royal blue and gold dragon, this is kind of equivalent to Archangel Michael. It is uh, giving you the power to rise up, yes, to rise up and stand your ground. With the Omega Dragon, it's also raising your divine feminine power. I mean, the majority of you guys watching this are divine feminines to begin with, so it's telling you to hold your vision and birth to a high consciousness okay get ready to go up a few levels now with your ascension and then we've got the air dragon it's telling you to have a bird's eye view basically of what's going around you at the 3d level it helps you ground as well which is very important in, in these times but it's also giving you a higher perspective like a bird's eye view on things so when there's chaos going on at ground level this air dragon's helping you rising up and see it as a whole picture in itself and to be able to rise above it and then we've got Thor's red, black and gold dragon. Now he's here to protect you from what's going on in the 3D level. So you are protected. So Thor's dragon's protecting you at this point in time with this crazy rapid transition that's happening on our planet right now. So with these four dragons, and there's smoke coming out of the candle, they're right beside you helping you move along in this next stage. So these four dragons are here to help you move along and protect you at the same time for standing your ground. So I'm not surprised I was sort of compelled to get the dragon cards out, but here you go. Exciting times, Divine Feminine. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this is a love reading or if this is just a general energy checkup for you, Divine Feminines. <laughs> You're getting drunk. What's going on? Oh my God. The world is getting drunk. No, being sarcastic here. Okay, what else? The world... Ten of the nine of cups, sorry. Ooh, which way the emperor? Come and see, come and see. I'm gonna leave him like that. Okay. Crossing over. Emperor crossing over the world. Mm. Okay, two more cards, please. We got the chariot. <laughs> okay. I don't read cards like this, but I just feel compelled to read cards in this manner, okay? Because it's sort of either here or there. There's that duality again. One more card, please. And we've got Justice. Wow, why am I not surprised these cards are coming up? Okay, top of the deck. Okay, I'll take that. we got the full card and the... Knight of Pentacles, bottom of the deck is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so what do I see? I see the full card. So someone's doing a leap of faith. Now we've got the Knight of Pentacles that fell with it. So someone's being moving slowly forward, cautiously, doing their homework, etc. But again, very slowly and very carefully. That was on the top of the deck. Now, so what's happened here? We've got the Knight of Cups. Someone's getting drunk. 
it's very hard to say someone's going through a happy place at this point in time when the earth's going to shit so I'd say getting drunk again but anyway it's not a good time to only because especially light workers and empaths it's important not to numb yourself of what's going on and being able to raise your frequency so easily said than done okay so the earth is the world something going on at the world we've got the emperor and the chariot we've got the emperor and the chariot i left them on their sides because i think at this time of the recording it, it's kind of giving me a flat line it's neither up or down at this point in time some sort of decision is going to happen to make it go in reverse or upright definitely something moving forward not sure if that's the divine masculine moving forward or being inert not sure something about justice again this card keeps on popping up it came up i think in my last three readings and the queen of pentacles yes i'd suggest this is the lovely divine feminine is looking at her coin in nature good place to be at this point in time okay so let's clarify these cards now why in this state of inebriation it's sober October now, guys. <laughs> it's going to be very sobering, that's for sure, especially with these planets. The High Priestess, what did I say? I know you're probably trying to numb what's going on um, with your ascension. Just keep focus. Your abilities are getting stronger. Too many cards. I won't take those ones. Now, what is the world what's the is this emperor world and emperor on the side is this the divine masculine can we clarify that please uh, he you wow someone's going to make an apology there's going to be a message an offering a small offering at this point in time they're making a decision whether to man up or not that's how I see it. Are they going to man up? They don't feel... Mm, they're sort of... Yeah, I'd say they're trying to figure out if they can man up. They feel inferior at this point in time. You are definitely at Empress High Priestess level, but you're getting yourself drunk, so... <laughs> What energies? I don't know. You're making the Divine Masculine topsy-turvy at this point. He could be drinking. Who knows? Or she could be drinking. Uh, okay, what's this one? These two cards. Ah! Here we go. Balancing Act. The Temperance. Oh, probably not a great time to do this reading because we're right in it. We're right in the eye of the storm here. Again, the second reading, it's another Eye of the Storm scenario here. Three of Cups. Now, this is more about hanging out with your mates, social gatherings. I don't know how that works in Melbourne, but oh, it's getting support from your tribe. I think it's your, your tribe is balancing you out at the moment. It's giving you some level of sanity. Um, it's making you go through these, this period of time. They're supporting you. They're backing you up. And I think you guys are getting drunk together, which is, again, going back to there. But, yeah. <laughs> and this is your bartender. <laughs> oh, my God. What will it be? I'll have two martinis, thanks, with a bit of toonies. And they're making you some martinis. Okay. Great. All right. All right, let's keep going. Oh, the full card. <gasps> The Empress. Oh, is this some Dutch courage, guys? Dutch courage. Mm. You're mirroring each other. You guys are mirroring. Okay. Maybe you're both getting drunk. Oh, maybe both of you are getting high as a kite. Who knows? Um, both want to make that move. Uh, you oh stagnant oh stagnant oh, okay what's this justice card let's see too many cards sorry okay what's this justice card what does it mean okay two of wands whatever oh judgment is there again about the justice what's happening is this stemming from last week in terms of waiting for that Judgment call, that freedom call maybe for your local government. Two of Wands making that move either here or there. Okay. Um, all right. 
right. It's all hanging on the balance with, with this justice thing. What's happening? Some sort of regulation going on to make it decide which way it's going to go. Oh, it's very similar to last week. Okay, a Queen of Pentacles. What's this Queen of Pentacles about? Why are you watching your money? Huh? Everyone should be watching their money at this point. Uh, yeah, well, this is becoming a general reading. This is sort of reminding me what's going on in the US with the money. You've got regulation over your money. It's tax. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. It is a mixture of the divine masculine and feminine. Both of you are trying to cope with what's going on with your local governments. It's right in the precipice of either either way of it going moving forward. You divine feminines are watching your money, trying to keep it close because the regulation or oh, the tax man's coming, something like that. We've got some overlord thing going on here that is stopping you guys from moving forward. Mm, we could all go down that rabbit hole, can't we? Wow. Okay. Oof. All right. Let's see. Okay. Um, is there anything more? I can't see. I can't see union too clearly here because both of you are hanging on the balance both of you are hanging on the balance for some sort of overlord thing going above your control it's some sort of control it's some level of justice coming through and you guys are holding on tight at this point in time which way you're going to move forward it's not saying that you're not coming into union it's suggesting that there's too much energy over you that is making it harder for you guys to move in and have that freedom of choice okay i'm going to oh no wonder we needed the dragons okay i am going to move towards psychic tarot for the heart okay i'm going to use the green cards i love this green okay let's see what what can you tell us shuffle these cards balance oh what did i say balance libra Balance, 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 balance. This always reminds me of Star Trek Enterprise, that empath in the second in charge. Yeah, anyway, let's keep going. Yes, I'm a Trekkie fan. Seek, all right. That's reflecting on the Queen of Pentacles here. Seek, get the bird's eye view of what's going on and... This is all kind of truth cards, isn't it? Black. Oh, keep going. And love abounds. Now, I'm not sure if this goes in reverse. Let me check. No, nah, no reverse on these cards. Flip it over. Okay, this love abounds card is basically telling you to keep your heart open during this period of time. The dragons are behind you. So keep your heart open stay optimistic get out of your negative thoughts this doesn't help right maybe for a period of time to get your mind off things but when you sober up which goes back to my previous song from last week is twist of my sobriety <laughs> um yeah it's important that you rise above it all and stay positive at your highest frequency okay and be healthy oh okay so it's all in the balance hanging in the balance okay i've got the amiris card so it's not necessarily for anyone it's just for those who need to pay particular attention to as you can tell i'm a messy reader it's wherever the cards will drop i don't have any method except for madness if, if this resonates with you if it doesn't stuff it just to get the nuggets that do okay so all right let's see how we go with the amiris cards that one what? What? When? You guys are already in union. Friendship. Okay. All right. Union, friendship and beauty queen. Okay, we've got a mixture of everything here. Oh, hey, there's some of you who are in union. There's some of you hanging out with your friends and some of you are single and dating. How's that helped me in this situation? 
you are you not telling me today is this for those three categories well that's every one of you guys isn't it mm. okay it's not oh, let me think all right okay so this union thing i mean in the 5d you guys are already in union you know that it's just a matter of time but this overlord is hanging over you so it's preventing things from moving forward in the 3d you are obviously hanging around with your friendship your friends your soul tribe keeping things close, keeping you high vibing. And obviously it also talks about self-care. To look after yourself, having that self-worth inside of you is very important in this point in time. Don't feel unworthy. All right, what else? I think we need some more cards than this. Let's get out the romance cards. How do they feel about you? Too many cards. How do they feel about you? <laughs> ah, messy, messy, messy. Separation, reconciliation. Oh, what? What does it mean? Separation, reconciliation, romantic feelings. Okay. All right. Is this connected to the Numerous cards? Okay. Let me think. I think it's telling me it's connected to the cards that I've just dealt. Union, separation. Okay. This might be a marriage broken right with their karmic it's either you or them there's a separation here on their previous relationship ah here we go there was that method of madness here friendship i think they will get to you you guys once the overlords allow you to <laughs> you're going to start off as friends slowly 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 start as friends Okay, with this reconciliation, it kind of makes sense. It's logical sense. And then this beauty queen romantic feelings. That's how they see you at this point in time. <laughs> Hopefully not with bottle glasses, but they're in love with you, definitely. They see how strong you have gone through. They see how powerful you've been because you've got the four dragons behind you. Like, what's her name? Daenerys from Game of Thrones? So there's a romantic feeling here. So, okay, that, wow, okay. That's why the Mirrors cards was all over the place. But, yeah, definitely union card. Someone who is in a current or who was in a marriage or a karmic relationship has now separated. They're moving forward to you to reconcile you, starting off as friends. Beauty queen here. They obviously are very attracted to you because you are a divine feminine. You're so fine. I'm going to get the Sacred Spirits reading cards here. Ah, oh, geez, I'm pulling out all sorts of stuff now. Now what do we have? It's all out. Here we go. What else can you tell us, universe? Higher self, what can you tell us? Divine will, let go of fear. Wow, look at these colours, huh? Channel your knowledge. Critical judgment. Yes, that's what we need. Critical thinking is very important at this point in time. Don't listen to the noise. Use your crown chakra. Use your gut. Use your intuition. Use your gifts to know what the hell is going on. Okay, so pretty much this card is telling you let it happen. Let it go. We're right in the eye of the storm here. So let things flow. Everything is hanging on the balance it's going to go either way and then you know your game plan okay so everything is divine planned obviously things aren't moving forward at this point in time because there's so much things going in the background there's so much uh overlord shit i think that needs to clear out and you've got to start opening up your mind here and heart with your critical thinking to navigate you through all this okay for now okay another week of that jeez all right, no, I'm, I'm not doing inner goddess stuff because you had the four dragons. So let's just go, universe has got your back. All right. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> so I choose love no matter what. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, and any form of separation are merely calls for help. So open up your heart, guys. Open up your crown chakra, open up your heart chakra, and use your throat chakra. In this point in time, any shadows that are coming through, you know, 
you know what to do with it. You've got to blast it through. Use the dragons up here. Blast that fear through. Blast that shadow through. Blast that negativity through. Anyway, I hope you like my reading. Please press like and subscribe and share it to anyone who may be interested in this type of thing. I will also recommend a song at the end of this for further divine messages. And I uh, hope all is well and catch you later. Okay, bye. The song choice I chose for this week is by Marvin Gaye, What's Going On. Now, this song is really dear to me. I always listen to it when I'm down and it kind of gives me hope about humanity. It is not a love song. It's probably more about what's happening with the energies around us. There's a lot of low frequency going on and it's only a few light workers who could lift it up for everyone else. Anyway, I hope you all divine feminines are well and just raise the frequency up. Just watch things that make you laugh just to keep it up. I'll catch you soon and hope all is well with you guys. Bye for now.